Alright, so I kind of was experimenting today, and I had this little thing right here. I posted a video previously on it. I didn't know what it was. Um, a lot of you suggested it was a tool magnetizer, um, and it did. It was quite an efficient electromagnet. Um, but today I was watching a video of a potential transformer, and then I looked at the little electromagnet thing, and I thought, this could be turned into a transformer. So then I looked at it again, and um, I thought that I had the ferrite core uh, from a flyback transformer would fit perfectly right in it, and in which it does. So then I took some 22 gauge wire, wrapped it around there, and I made a little transformer. And I don't know, would this work as a flyback transformer? Um, if you know, please let me know. That'd be great, because then I could have some real fun. Um, but as I had learned that DC impulses uh, can create high voltage. So basically I have 12 volts DC coming into this coil right here and then it works as a transformer, AC transformer and creates a little spark at my spark gap right here. And since I didn't want to do the pulses manually I built this little device, just a DC printer motor and over here is just the motor with a little popsicle stick as a cam wheel and a limit switch goes up and down really really fast and that creates uh, the DC pulses and creates high voltage so what I have for this, that's the power supply powering the transformer that powers uh, the motor and I have my variax uh, varying the voltage and I also have my meter right there so you can see the voltage that I'm putting into it. Alright, so let's give it a test here. Another neat thing I can do is I can make this little neon light bulb light up with this, so we'll try that now.